Sorry. Oh, Laura. What a nice surprise. Come in. Well, I'll see you later, Micah. Oh, okay. don't go on my account. Actually, that's exactly what I'm doing. And Luke. Oh, all oh, right, yes. Uh, I heard he'd gotten a room at Ruby's. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. So am I. Anyway, I thought you might like a visit. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Listen, I would offer you something, but they don't really have much around here. Oh, I'm fine. And I managed to smuggle in some homemade Toll House cookies. I got very good at this when my son was in here recouping from his go-kart accident. Oh, you are absolute dream. I'm going to save them for dessert if you don't mind. Oh, sure. How is Lucky? He pierced his ear. Need I say more? <laughs> oh, oh, Lucky. Oh, well, that hurt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I haven't laughed in quite a while. It suits you. You look so beautiful, Monica. I remember oh. thinking that at the nurse's ball. Oh, considering everything I've gone through. No, I said simply that you look beautiful. You know, I really am sorry that I wasn't here for you more when you were going through all of this. But I know you had a great support system. Yes, yeah, so great. Uh, they practically drove me to Arizona. <laughs> I really haven't been very easy on the family. Oh, well. Keep them on their toes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing great things about the wellness group. Saved my life. So I've heard. The one here at GH is almost up and running. I'm mm -hmm. thinking maybe that's something that I'd like to get involved in. Well, that's right. You're going after your degree. Mm, trying. It's not easy. Yeah. Oh, but look who I'm talking to. The woman who has a full-time career and a family and <sighs> battles a life-threatening disease and wins and still has time to launch a major support group. Please, you are exhausting me, and I will take all the help I can get. Great. Oh, by the way, have I told you how fond I am of Emily? Yes, well, she is very, very special. I lose sight of that sometimes because of the fear that I have bitten off more than I could chew. It's a tough age. Mm. But you made it through puberty with two boys, so I have a lot of faith in you. I have to confess that they were in boarding school for much of that time. But I'm glad Emily has Lucky for a friend. Oh, they're just so cute together. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 of course not. They never consider anything like that. They're far too young. Absolutely, absolutely. And besides, I could never talk to Emily about anything so personal. She is convinced that I'm trying to take her mother's place. So I guess when the time comes for her to fall in love, she will run to Alan and he will handle things flawlessly. Monica, it's such a hard thing you're trying to do. Please don't be so rough on yourself. Thanks. And shame on me for complaining about my husband. And look at you and what you're going through. How do we get ourselves into these situations? <laughs> the question is, how do we get ourselves out? <laughs> True. <laughs> well, Monica, if the truth be told, if it weren't for Luke, <laughs> my life would be just great right now. Because, mm. well, I love being back here in Port Charles, and I love my house, and I love the neighborhood. Ah. Uh, which could change, of course, which is part of the reason I wanted to talk to you today. Oh? Yes. Does the name Dayworks Company ring a bell for you? Dayworks? No, not at all. Would you know if it were a subsidiary of ELQ? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, I'm on the board. Why, what's going on? Well, a company of that name is trying to put a huge discount store in the Charles Street neighborhood. Isn't that what we wanted? No. 
I was going to push all the small businesses that the foundation is working to launch right out of the marketplace. You can't compete with a mega chain store like that. Well, I think it is safe to say that um, we have nothing to do with it. And I think riding on the heels of the incinerator disaster, even Edward wouldn't be that greedy. I hope you're right. Hate to have to pick at him again. Oh, that's a shame. I'd love to see him squirm under your gaze. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. <laughs> well, since our family seems to be relatively innocent in this case, if Dayworks is not an ELQ enterprise, whose is it? And why are they going after Charles Street? <laughs>